Hi guys, this is uh, Jake from Jay and Jim. Welcome to another Destiny video. In today's Destiny video, I'm going to be going over what Exa, Agent of the Nine, has to sell this week. So you guys who may have got a bit from the, uh, one of the past weeks, um, it was quite a few weeks ago now, but this is an exact replica of what he had that week. So, not including the um, upgrades, or I don't think he's elementary either, but... You would be going to be quite sad if you bought a lot that week, because, uh, yeah. And, uh, uh, for another week in the row, he's got the MK44 standard sides again. Uh, text reads probably coming through. Heavy weapon ammo. Increase the amount of heavy weapon ammunition you can carry. Oh, hang on a sec. Um, yeah. Uh, by the way, guys, uh, it requires level 20, 296 defense, can be upgraded to 324, 5 Light uh, is originally 30, can be upgraded to 36. Strength 134, can be upgraded to 144. So not that much of a difference in that one. Uh, these are good exotics. They're not as good as the real wings or the other one in but they are good. So if it's your first time exotic, get these. Uh, so obviously, as I left off, heavy weapon ammo, increase the amount of heavy um, weapon ammunition you can carry. Upgrade defense, and there's some upgrade defense that starts down here. Be somewhere else, increase the duration. Short charge remains active. So here you've got Don't Touch Me. Now I got these a while back when the, when it was like a, <laughs> the exact clone of last uh, of the week before. This is like an exact clone of one of the other weeks I got these when that week was um that week was active. So these are good hunter gauntlets. Um, now the you might be thinking, oh, this is going to be so good in PvP when I get into a melee battle scenario. Well, it depends on the players I sight, and normally the players I sight are good enough to notice the pretty obvious outline of your character. I really wish they'd have, like changed the Destiny uh, invisibility so it'd be a bit more like Halo where it's really cool, but uh, yeah. Text reads, amputated from a creature that's still without investigative shield. Defense reflex still remains. Uh, defense is 133, can be great to 366. Uh, light, 30, can be great to 36, normal. Dis that's obviously normal for exotic. Discipline, 76, can be great to 82. Um, and then you've got... So I think this is quite a treat for you hunters, in my opinion. So yeah, upgrade defense and some upgrade defense down here. This really works for PvE more than anything else. So yeah, really cool. Uh, if Cabal, melee you, or a fill axe has got you on the edge of your life, because they really do strong melee attacks, normally one shots. So if you barely be able to survive that, you'll go invisible so you can't take any more damage and lose, say, a nightfall or something. So yeah. Inverse Shadow. Um, increase super energy gain from killing wins of the darkness. Defense reflex. Uh, take damage from a melee attack um, make, makes you briefly invisible. As I said, upgrade damage and obviously it requires an exotic shard like all pieces of exotic armor. Starfar Protocol chest armor requires level 20, uh, as all of them do. 444 defense code great to 488. 13.4 billion years ago, the first star killed out of darkness, seeding the future of all life. Light, uh, 30 can be great to 36. Intellect, 134 can be great to 144. Um, upgrades are. <laughs> sorry. Upgrades are. Uh, fusion rifle arrow. Increasing the amount of fusion rifle arrow you can carry. I think fusion rifles are very good for PvP. Um, PvE, sorry. Quite good for PvP, so yeah. If you use fusion rifles, very cool. Uh, Ugly defense, there's some good defense slots down here. Heavy weapon ammo, uh, increase the amount of heavy am weapon ammunition you can carry. Staff on protocol, get an additional fusion grenade. Now I'm quite sad that he's selling this again. Um, don't get me wrong, I like this chess piece, but it's just like, wow, you've sold this before, don't sell it again. Uh, yeah, so, you know, um, it's a really good chess piece. I don't want every like everyone to have it suddenly and not becoming like another void phone investment. So, a bit sad. She sells something different, just sells something different. So, Dragon's Breath. Um, burn the world, burn it all, increases. Uh, uh, burn, the world, um, burn the world, burn it all. Uh, Smart Difficult Control, Predictable Control, Recall, Penalty, Velocity, Linear Compensate, More Predictable Recall, Slight Boost of Velocity, and Blast Radius, More Recall. The final launch, greatly reduced recall, so you have a penalty to range. Tripod, this launch is you can hold three shells, upgrade damage, uh, upgrade damage down here. Quick draw, this one can be drawn unlimited fast. Prior back to its special perk, which is rounds fire from this one, and leave for solo player upon detonation. Jumping it, increase warhead velocity. Heavy payload increases 
warhead blast radius. So there we go, that's the dragon's breath. Uh, obviously you can be upgraded to 30, 330 all attack when maxed. So yeah, I'm going to get this. See this last week. It's a bit sad because the Galahorn and Truth are better. But um, I really need to get something because last week I got nothing, no weapons. So I'm kind of just a bit, you know, sad that I didn't get any weapons last week. So yeah. I'm also going to get some Rocket Launcher Telemetry. So yeah. See you guys next time, Guardians. Bye. Have a nice, wonderful day wherever you are. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Have happy shopping with Exa. Bye.